Good morning, Snap Pickleball players. Our lesson this week was all about paying attention to your grip and your follow through as you make your shots. So why is this important? It's important because as we started playing pickleball, our grip was all about grip and rip. Oh my gosh, we just had a death grip on that paddle. And now I'm telling you to loosen up. Well, when I tell you to loosen up, you're not really sure what that means. And so now I'm having you pay attention to how the ball reacts as you tighten and you follow through. So just experiment with that. Now, uh, so that's the beginners. In intermediates, hmm, you're all about the bang. And you're like, why is it always banging? Why am I just constantly in that bang rally? Well, it's because of your grip. You didn't think about having to relax that grip before. Now you are, because now you've been told, hey, loosen up that grip and see what happens. But it's that fine line. What's too loose? What's too tight? When I want it to do this, you know, how do I make it do that? And so this is the way to do it with this drill today. You're gonna go ahead and, you know, get, get in line there with your, with your partner and just try different grips, go different distances, and see what happens. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know it, I was doing this with my paddle. All right, now, advanced players, or any players, this is any players because we all get new equipment, okay? Uh, we watch our pros, our favorite pro on TV, or on YouTube, whatever we're on. And not me, I'm not a pro. But anyway, you're watching your, pro, your pros. When you're watching your pros, you're like, ah, I want to play like that. And they have their own little paddle. They've got their name on it. And you're like, I'm going to get their paddle because I want to play like that. Well, let me tell you, they didn't just pick up that paddle and start playing like that. They had to learn what grip to use and how the ball was going to react off of that paddle. Okay, It doesn't just happen. So with this exercise that we're doing all week long, it's all about paying attention to how the ball reacts when you are using whatever grip and whatever follow through. Remember that grip and the paddle, there's all those variables. And once you put those variables into play, that's when you're going to, and you have to know what happens when all those variables are there. All right, what are the variables? The variables are your equipment, the wind, the pace of the ball that's coming to you, Oh, and I forgot one. What might that be? Oh yeah, hey, how far away from that kitchen line am I? Okay, if for some reason our muscle memory is, is for shots that are made when we are two to four inches away from that, that kitchen line, and you happen to move back and now you're a foot away from the kitchen line, guess what? That muscle memory is not gonna push that ball over that, that net. It ain't gonna happen. So you have to be you know, very aware of where you're standing on the kitchen line. I'm gonna share just one little story. I was playing with this great guy. Absolutely love him. He, he always made his, his dink shots. He had a great, he's got a great um, soft game. But one day we were playing, he kept missing his dinks. And he's like, what on earth is going on? And I looked at him and I said, yo, Denny, Denny, I said, Denny, look at where you're standing. Is that normally where you stand when you're making those shots? And he goes, no, why am I back here? All right. Well, try moving up now. Get back where you normally go. Now they're going to go over. So the variables of where we're standing on the court, you know, we think we're right there at that kitchen line, but we might not be. We might be two feet back. If you're two feet back and you're using the same muscle memory you use when you're right there two inches from the kitchen line, those balls aren't going to go over. So wind, pace of, pace of the ball that's coming at you, where you're at in the court, the distance that you want the ball to go, and I'm sure there's others I'm just forgetting right now. But anyway, think about it when you're out there playing. Don't just be reactive. When you're out there, think about that grip and that follow through. You guys have fun and snap to it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.